No, uh, yeah, I just got done with a bounty hunting job. I just came back from that. The, the price it was eight thousand dollars on this guy's head, and I was given his file. So I go to his house, and I show up in quite possibly the most bougie freaking neighborhood I have ever seen. Like marble columns, like fucking Rome. I get to his house, and I just I knock on the door. I say, "Hey, bail bonds, come to the door." What comes down the stairs? can only be described as something fucking mythical. It is the definition of neckbeard. This guy has like a Legends of Zelda t-shirt that says, oh, Hi, no. hi, rule it, or whatever. And he's got like the ponytail and the Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. So he comes downstairs and he's like, You can't come inside my house. You need a warrant. And I'm like, I'm not a cop. And he's like, yo, go away. I'm like, N I'm, I'm an officer of the courts. You need to come out. And he's like, no, come, come back with a warrant. And he runs upstairs, just runs right back upstairs. And he comes back downstairs. And I swear to you, this is real. With an Amazon's choice samurai sword. Well, he like pulls it out. And he's like doing this Bruce Lee fight stance. Oh. And he goes... I will defend my house with my life. So I'm like, this is your last chance, dude. And he tells me to go effectively myself. So I kicked his door in. And that's when reality hit him. That Oh, oh no, this is real. And um, I have my gun trained on him. And uh, he drops the sword. And like in the back of my head, I just hear the Old Spice jingle as I'm playing. <laughs> and, and he goes, someone's texting me. Hold on. I said, I don't have time for this. Up. And... Right as I'm about to grab him, he ran upstairs, and so I had to run after his ass. And he closes the door to his room. I opened that room and wanted to throw up. It was so gross. He had a body pillow. It was standing on its own at that point. He had these, like, really terrible posters, and I didn't want to go in it and touch him. So I just grabbed my taser and tased him. I drag him out. You know, I, I get him cuffed. I, I take him downstairs and throw him in the back of the car. I get to the car, close the door, and then mom and dad show up. And they're like, where, where do you think you're taking my son? Said, to jail. And he's like, oh, what charges? Uh, coming at me with a samurai sword and resisting arrest. And he's like, oh, you're going to hear from my lawyer. You know what? I'll be right back. And I told him I didn't have time for this. So I got into my car. I'm, I'm, I'm taking off down the road. And this guy is like Roman centurion it towards me. He's like running. Yeah, he's like moving fast, going down the road. And I'm like, holy shit, this dude's actually catching up. So <laughs> I just hit the gas. And then I, I just see this. Oh, the dude took Ow. a dive. It was like, boop, 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 boop. I kind of chuckled a little. But then I felt bad. I'm like, oh, should I go back and help him? Nah.